Hi, Alf. Uh, uh, with me have uh, Maxim Salim, uh, uh, who, is from, uh, who is working on uh, uh, web uh, by type protocol. And we, we are having okay, have a, a chat on the same. Hello, everyone. Welcome to uh, my presentation about WebDriver by day. So in this session, I am going to present you the current progress with the WebDriver by day. I don't expect uh, the presentation will be act actionable. Uh, please don't worry if you don't understand some specific of the protocol. Uh, most likely, you as a developer are not uh, required to implement the protocol itself and uh, Hopefully, it will be implemented by both uh, browsers and uh, Selenium or other uh, testing frameworks. And let's let's start with the, uh, my presentation. So I'm a software engineer since 2004. I started as a web developer and then transitioned to backend, full stack, front end, SDT. And currently, I'm working in Google on Chrome DevTools and specifically on web automation. And I am focusing on web, web driver by the protocol. So you can find my details here. And yeah, as I mentioned, the main goal of the presentation is to give the general overview of the, uh, of the protocol development, of the protocol development process, and where we are now. So I'm going to cover these topics. Uh, it's uh, what what is by die. I'm not going to get that deep into the description of the driver by die. Uh, if you're curious, you can read the blog post written a year ago, uh, where we try to justify why we're working on that and what exactly uh, what exactly it uh, should lead with. Uh, then I will uh, tell you a bit about uh, what it's, uh, the protocol development process look like. It's a specification, verification, implementation, and then at the end I will uh, show some milestones so which way we think it will go soon. So uh, what is WebDriver by day? So uh, there is a link to the blog post. You can read through uh, the general overview of that, uh, sorry, not general, but like a bit more detailed uh, overview and main differences between WebDriver Classic and WebDriver Baidai and why we work on that. But uh, just want to say that it's a W3C standard and there are a list of uh, organizations uh, most, mostly working on that. So yeah, uh, it's a collaboration of uh, not only these organizations, but uh, yeah. Why do we work on WebDriver by day? So the motivation number zero is you probably was in such a situation when you wanted to test something manually and it was broken and it's uh, you want to fix it again and again. So yeah, uh, but actually Google's mission is to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. Uh, Maxim, just a, a quick check. Uh, looks like sure. uh, um, the slides, and we are on we are on still on the first slide. Uh, if, just a check, okay. Um, if you if you move to the uh, second slide, where, it's not visible. Yeah, I can see the slides now. Sorry, uh, was it yes. was it was there the wrong slides? Uh, yes, uh, we were on the first slide. Yeah. Uh, just uh, oh. navigate the second slide. Sorry for, sorry for that. Okay. Yes. I probably should uh, switch here. Okay. Uh, again, my name is Maxim. Uh, as I mentioned, software engineer since 2004. I work on the uh, Chrome automation and Jeff tools and specifically on the web driver by day. So, uh, and here is the uh, introduction. I want to go through. Uh, the main goal of the, uh, in, of the presentation is to give a general overview of the WebDriver web by day protocol development process and to give an update on the current state. And at the end, I am going to uh, show where we think it will go. And uh, yeah, what is WebDriver by day? So here is a link uh, where I, uh, a blog post written a year ago uh, with the main motivation, main uh, differences between the a uh, WebDriver Classic and WebDriver by day and the main advantages of it. Uh, 
So I just want to mention that it's a W3C standard and uh, there are lots of organization uh, working on that. So basically we try to figure out what, uh, uh, what shape it should have and how can we implement uh, each, each of us, how we can implement the, uh, the protocol. So why do we work on the web drive by day? Because you probably know <laughs> all of us was in the same situation, I'm quite sure. But actually, uh, Google's mission is to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. And we care a lot about web pages having good quality, which makes automated cross-browser tests very relevant. Uh, other browser vendors have more or less the same motivation, I'm quite sure. And uh, let's talk about WebDriver Classic versus Byday. So WebDriver Classic is HTTP based, based and it means it has only polling mode model and it provides only high level control. Even though the, we can add additional methods to provide uh, lower level control, uh, uh, all kinds of emulations and so on, we still cannot fire the first uh, issue with the polling model. So we end up with the by day, uh, web drive by day, which is a bidirectional protocol based on WebSocket. And it allows us to use async calls and await. And it, provi it will provide lower level control over the browser. Uh, so let's talk first what new protocol means. So we uh, see the new protocol as uh, something which, which is specified. There is a way to verify it and it's implemented. What does it mean it's uh, specified? Uh, current version of the specification you can find here by this link, but uh, I just want to give you a general feeling of what it look like. So you are not you are not required to get into the details too deep here is an, an example of a common script evaluate and there are steps uh, uh, browser which wants to or any server which wants to implement the web driver by day server has to follow when it receives the command uh, script evaluate uh, verification for verification, we use web platform tests. You can find a link here. Uh, basically, it's a set of Python tests. There are lots of them. It's over 600 related to the WPT or to WebDriver by day. Here is a small example of the test. It's a quite trivial one. So you see there are lots of pairs uh, of values and we call script evaluate. Uh, with the given expression and verify that, uh, for example, if you uh, evaluate undefined, the return the return value is uh, properly serialized to type undefined. Or if you send a big int, it serialized with big int. So that's a real example of one of the WPT tests. And not all of them are that trivial, but still just wanted to give you a general uh, impression of what is that and implementation. So there is a link where you can check the current implementation state of the uh, by day. As you see, the Chrome, Edge, and Safari are not in leads here. Uh, so basically in Chromium, in, in, uh, Chromium we implement it in, in the different way so that uh, currently Chrome driver doesn't support web driver by day, but we work in hardly on that. And let me show how it's done. So we have a by day CDP mapper and uh, how it used to work. We used to have Chrome driver and clients talk uh, web driver classic to Chrome driver while Chrome driver talks to Chromium via CDP, which is Chrome DevTools protocol. Uh, the model we now implementing is uh, a slightly different. So the user talks to web driver by day uh, via web driver by day to Chrome, Chrome driver, which sends that by day comments to by day CDP mapper. And that by day CDP mapper sends all the comments to Chromium and uh, for, uh, translates CDP events 
to the by date events and translates it from driver, which uh, just processes to the uh, client. So having that, uh, we impl uh, implemented almost all the by day in by day CDP mapper, and currently we're working hard on implementing the uh, on implementing the integration of by day CDP mapper into the Chrome driver. After it's it will be finished, you see the result should be more positive. We should be quite green there. Uh, the same goes to Edge driver. Uh, we're working together with the, with Microsoft so that it uh, the Edge driver will be uh, will implement the Edge driver by day as well. Uh, so Firefox status, they working on the supporting new features in Selenium and to other Edge driver clients, and they already done console log events and navigation commands and working on. Network, network events and navigation events and script execution. So let me talk about the roadmap, how we see it. The first step was minimal scenario. Second is hacking news, which where we are now, then Google search, capturing screenshot, print to PDF and request interceptions. So the, what we mean in minimal scenario, we want it just to open a page, find an element and return the element content. We didn't want to, we didn't require to get the, all the specification for all the steps and uh, all the WPT tests and so on. What we wanted is just to make it work in at least two browsers. So we in, made it cross browser the script and we did achieve it. So this minimal e scenario uh, the link you can find later. Uh, it can be run against both uh, Chromium uh, by the ICDP mapper and against Firefox. So voila, we've done with that. The second uh, milestone we see is uh, hacking news. We are working hard on implementing it now. So for that uh, milestone, it's basically the previous scenario when we open the page, uh, get some content and return to the user. Uh, but we want to have all the three uh, parts here, specification, WPT tests, and implementation. Uh, so the component there, you see, it's uh, creating, navigating browser context and uh, making some calls in the, um, in the script so that they get content of the uh, hacking news page. So the next uh milestone we are facing uh is the uh, we call it google search so in this milestone we are going to focus on the emulation of the inputs so it's a keyboard input and mouse input and another step is element selection i have to underline that this is what we want to that is our uh priority, but it can be changes over time. For example, there is a chance that element selection can be replaced with the fun, uh, script call function, but yeah, uh, please stay tuned on that. The next uh, milestone we want to achieve is uh, capture a screenshot. So the scenario is quite uh, simple. We load the page and we capture the screenshot. And after that, we want to make a print to PDF. So we load the page and we print to PDF the whole page. Uh, you can do it currently in PPT. So we want to have it uh, to be enabled to print to PDF in uh, all the browsers, whatever you uh, whatever you automate. And the last uh, last but not least, it's network request interception. Uh, we want to set up some int, uh, network interceptors and then load a page with all the pictures replaced with docs. Yes, I like docs. So that's the most motivating part of all the work for me. So we want to make this look like this. Isn't it cute? So that's actually all I wanted to walk through. Uh, please uh, ask me any questions if you have. Yes, um, 
I see two questions, okay, uh, for now. Let me, let me write out uh, Maxim for you. It's question from uh, Vadishwaran. He asks, how similar or how different it is from uh, Playwright's DevTools protocol? Uh, it's a good question. I'm not aware of uh, Playwright's DevTools protocol. Uh, for what I know, uh, Playwright uses uh, CTP as well, Chrome Tools Dev Protocol, uh, uh, Chrome DevTools protocol. So we use uh, the, the same protocol. Okay. So uh, but if 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 we talk about how it's different from Playwright, it's uh, well, uh, we develop the new protocol underneath. So any uh, testing framework. Uh, uh, Playwright, Selenium, Puppeteer, anyone can use the very same protocol in all the browsers. Yes. So I have uh, another question uh, from Mudit. So uh, the question is, what is the difference between CDP and uh, um, Baidai? Uh, thanks a lot for the question. Uh, unfortunately, there is no uh, short answer to the question. Uh, I would, uh, at first, I would recommend you to read the blog post I mentioned. Uh, but the the short answer is the CDP is very Chrome specific. So as long as it was de uh, developed for Chromium, it's very DevTools specific, I would say. So it has lots of uh, specific things for DevTools and not, which doesn't make any sense to implement in all the browsers. So. Uh, from that perspective, CDP and uh, PyDai, they are not, uh, they're not twins, they will siblings. So we got some ideas from web drive, from CDP, which does work, but we had to add additional things like serialization, for example, because in CDP, currently you can only uh, make JSON or not JSON. Uh, basically, it's mostly JSON serializable values. So uh, we have a uh, one more question from Nishant. So uh, Nishant. So yeah, that's I think that that's done. Uh, next question is from uh, uh, Prem Raj. What makes now uh, what makes the difference uh, introducing Byte Mapper introducing between between Chromium and Chrome driver? So let me replace that. What makes difference introducing introducing Byte Mapper introducing between Chromium and Chrome driver? Uh, so, the, uh, as I understand, the question is why do we introduce the uh, right. by mapper at all? So the main reason is we didn't want to over overload, uh, overcomplicate the Chrome driver, and we wanted to make the by die as long as by die is currently quite uh, it's still developing. We want to keep a flexibility there and not to add it to, uh, the complexity to the Chrome driver. So basically, we added that new layer to encapsulate all the Baidai logic and uh, keep them separate and uh, keep more flexibility in both WebDriver Classic and WebDriver Baidai. Okay. So one more question. When it is planned for release? Uh, that's a tough question. I don't have any dates for now. We're working hard on that. Uh, as I mentioned, probably it will, I would be quite pessimistic. Uh, oh, sorry. If, if I, <laughs> I don't think it will happen in this year, uh, at least beta, but you already can try to use it. So it's fully, uh, all, the minimal scenario is fully implemented by Firefox and you can, uh, use the basic scenario with the uh, uh, by day mapper, for example, but it's uh, it's not in the uh, Chrome driver yet. Uh, when it will be implemented in Chrome driver, the basic uh, mapper, well, it will be uh, probably it will be in Q3. Uh, Chrome driver will support by day. When it will be useful end to end, uh, probably next year. Okay, this. Uh, from Sudindra. So I had uh, this question, okay, with, um, what changes would be needed in our code using Baidai whenever a browser is upgraded? Uh, ideally, you don't need any changes in the Baidai. Well, again, Baidai is protocol, so we don't, we do want to keep the protocol 
the same and uh, implementation agnostic, meaning uh, theoretically you don't have to do anything and keep the using the very same protocol, even if you upgrade your browser or switch browser and use uh, like to test the very same code, uh, use the very same code to test uh, each page in Safari, Chromium, and Firefox. So uh, from that perspective, you are not expected to change anything. Uh, another question, uh, what changes will you need to start using Byte? But I guess it wasn't a question. Okay. There's a, another question, okay, uh, which has, which Byte will test uh, execution speed uh, comes down or goes up? Uh, it will be faster because you, uh, because you have not Paul, but a synchronous model. So we expect it will be way faster. So for us, uh, our early measurement showed about 20% uh, speed improvements, uh, purely because of the, uh, you don't wait, you don't have to wait, uh, pull uh, several times the events, it will be sent to you immediately. Okay. So the other question uh, which I'm saying is, is by right, uh, considering a video recording of the viewport, uh, it probably it will be there. I am not sure yet, and we don't have a specific work done for that yet. Okay. So I have a question, uh, Maxim. So, um, yeah. Is it, a, I mean, the web die, uh, a, a, is it a replacement for uh, the classic web driver? Uh, in the long term uh, scene, yes. It, uh, we expect web driver by die to be, to be able to replace web driver classic. We don't, but we don't uh, plan to stop supporting WebDriver Classic. Okay, so what is that one major advantage? Okay, uh, which uh, which is seen uh, to consider uh, uh, this by die and not the uh, lock events. So uh, there is no easy to lock events uh, in okay. WebDriver Classic, and there is really easy way one comment in the WebDriver by day. Okay. So uh, when uh, the common question, okay, uh, with engineers who are, who are writing automation, okay, will be, uh, will there be the uh, will there be the need to change the automation code uh, when we uh, start using uh, the by drive and not the classic? Uh, well, theoretically, it should be seamless for you, so you should yeah. just. We don't expect you realize it, but again, it's up to the uh, testing library you use. So. Uh, it's up to the implementation of the uh, client you use. So if you use Selenium, for example, and Selenium start using uh, Baida instead of Classic, you you shouldn't uh, recognize that. But you will probably provide the new APIs and sorry and new uh, new possibilities where which would you can use. But it's uh, we expect it will be backward compatible. Thank you, Maxim. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Good.